you right now, we're not even on this island. I don't know what you call this. We can be on this island, but I'm... Now, the cops told us to move for safety reasons, so we moved. But, corner probably he's got. But you got the barriers, so no one can... Oh, I'm so used to the speaker. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that only begotten son, Jesus Christ, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Keep it over. Keep it over. There you go. Jesus Christ, who is the son of God, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says, I am the way, there is no other way to God. He says, I am the way to the Father. So you can't come to God as a Baptist, as a Catholic, Presbyterian. You've got to come to God through Jesus Christ. And you say, well, what's the difference between religions and what you're preaching? What I'm preaching is Jesus Christ. Religion will preach what you can do, how you can do, how well you are. It's like the fact is that the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there are, are none righteous, no, not one. And God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Religion can't clean you. And the fact is that the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That priest, pastor, preacher, reef, rabbi, whoever you believe is a sinner himself or herself. And you cannot clean the sin with another sin and of a sinner. But to be cleansed of your sins, the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. It's so simple. Salvation to get to God, to get to heaven, is by the merit of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way. There is no other salvation. I'm blocking the way. So, move that stuff over. Move that over. Rachel. It's a great expectation to say, I'm going to heaven. But. In the Bible, according to the Bible, according to the Word of God, God who is in heaven, God who authorized those to get to heaven, God, not Peter, stands at the pearly gates to let those into heaven, has set the standard. And that standard is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not being a member of something. It's not baptism. It's not look at what I've done. It's not even how good you are. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. Your good is not my good and my good is not their good. And yet there is one good of God and that's Jesus Christ, the Holy and Righteous One. Now when you can match yourself when you can equal yourself, Rachel, you can go as far as that cement thing. On the bricks. Say in the bricks. That's it. When you can match yourself, when you can equal yourself to God, Jesus Christ, then you are able to get in the presence of God and Jesus Christ. 
and to equal yourself to God and Jesus Christ, you're not going to do it by eating Jesus. You're not going to do it by going to church Sunday morning or Easter or Christmas, however your church attendance is. You're not going to equal yourself to God by being baptized in fresh water or salt water. And you're sure not going to go to be with God because you're American. There are no Americans in heaven. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are only born-again, Bible-believing Christians who have received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. And nothing else, and anything else will not get you into heaven. At all. I'm sorry to tell you, your membership, your church cannot save your soul. It's a failure in the eyes of God. You cannot come to God and say, God, in order to get to heaven, look at what I am. No. When you do that, you're facing the great I am. Moses said, God, what shall I tell the children of Israel your name? He says, I am that I am. And the egotism of Americans would say, I am, we are, we're the greatest, we're number one. Not in the eyes of God, without Jesus Christ, you're not. Without Jesus Christ, without his salvation, without his gospel, a suffering and dying according to the scriptures, and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is life. And that is what God expects you to believe on, the finished work and the merit work of Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. Listen, Jesus is God and Jesus is 100% man. And he came and born in that manger in the city of Bethlehem. And grew up and died on the cross according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures and if you do not believe on Jesus Christ you will go to hell Catholic you'll go to hell Baptist you'll go to hell baptism you'll go to hell faith on Jesus Christ you'll go to heaven I'm here to tell you the, the truth and preach the truth. Only Jesus saved. That is all. There is nothing. There is nothing that you can do that has already been finished by Jesus Christ. No offering can get you into heaven. God don't take checks, money order, or work. He takes the precious blood without spot of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And when it comes to sin, we are all sinners. For the Bible says all have sinned. And since we are sinners, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Your sin will give you a payday one day. And that payday is death. Now that doctor may sign your certificate. You may die of cancer, you may die of a heart disease, but the original death of you is because you are a sinner. Cancer, heart attack, anything else is a subdivision of death by sin. And we are all born of sin because we are born of Adam. Our great, 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 great grandfather who disobeyed the word of God that said, do not eat of that fruit. And he did. And death came. And today, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not. You are still rebelling as Adam did. Adam did what God told him not to do. You don't do what God tells you to do. Adam, don't eat that fruit. Yum, 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 yum. People, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, I'm going to go to Estar tomorrow. I'm going to go get me some eggs. 
tomorrow. I'm going to church. I got works. Look at my 1040. Look at my giving. Look at my charity. Look how good I am, says a fool. Because the Bible says there is none that doeth good. The Bible says not of work. Please any man boast. Boast on earth. You won't boast in heaven. You'll be in torment. You'll be burning forever and ever. Listen, hell is forever. There is no relief. Forever in pain and suffering without Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible says that Jesus is the blessed hope. Jesus is not in hell. You have no hope in hell. Blessedness and mercy comes from God. God is not in hell. So there will be no blessings and no mercy and no grace in a place absent of God. The Bible says that Jesus is light. Again, Jesus is not in hell, so there will be no light in hell. Jesus is the great physician. There will be no medical aid in hell. As you be in torments and pains and sorrows forever and ever. But if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, the Bible says in heaven you'll get a brand new body without sin. There'll be no more sorrows, no more tears. Upon the faith of Jesus Christ, you will have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And in that book are your reservations to get to heaven. And the proper answer, the proper answer is, how do you get to heaven? Is by Jesus Christ and His finished work. Not of anything I can do to be saved. And if you're to say, oh, to the question, what, or how am I going to get to heaven? If it's not Jesus, you're not going. You're not going to hear that in your American pulpits today. You won't dare hear in the pulpits of America there's only one way. Because American pulpits wants to make people feel good. Because they love your cash. They love for you to give money on, the, on eBay and give money on, on, the, on the Internet. They love your money. So they will preach to you as wolves in sheep's clothing. They won't dare preach to you that Jesus is the absolute way, the absolute truth, and there is no life outside of Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, don't even think about going to heaven. Don't even think about going to the presence of God. Forever. The word of God is settled in heaven. And John 1 says the word is Jesus Christ. The entrance into God's abode to heaven, the new Jerusalem, to glory, is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The ticket to heaven is the blood of Jesus Christ. The admission into heaven is the blood of Jesus Christ. The entrance doors into heaven is by the, by the Calvary's cross. A Christian is a person that has come to Calvary's cross where Jesus suffered and died and spilled God's blood. And you come to that cross and you repent of your sins. You are sorry for your sins. You have violated God with your sin. And you come to the tomb where Jesus was laid. And you sit there and you watch for the Savior to come out. Because the Bible says three days and three nights I'll come out of that tomb. And when that rock is rolled away, and that rock is gone away, and the angels proclaim, He is not here, He is risen, and you put your faith and belief on that finished work, you become a Christian. Christian has nothing to do with church. It has nothing to do with Esther or Easter. 
Easter is not biblical. It's a Roman holiday of orgies and sex worship. There are no eggs. There are no bunnies. There is the saving grace of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Take your bunnies to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to go to heaven. You don't like that? That's tough. That's the Bible. Shake your head. But that's the Bible. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou about shalt be saved. Bunnies in the Bible and Leviticus are unclean animals. You won't find them in heaven. Amen. It's not how many eggs you find, it's how much you find Jesus and put him in your heart by faith, belief, and by repentance of your sin. Repent of Easter. Get out of Easter. Get into a Bible-believing church where it preaches the truth. Get rid of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. They are Catholic holidays, and they are of the devil. Jesus Christ is of God. Jesus Christ is only able to save your soul. I hope I ruined your Easter. I hope I have told you the truth about Jesus Christ, about the resurrection, about the Passover lamb. The Passover and Good Friday never come together on the calendar, and yet Jesus died on the Passover night when that land was set free. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus saved. Get excited. It's the glory of God. It's the glory of God that they're excited about. What's up? How y'all doing? Good. You want something from this door, 7-Eleven? No, we're all set. You want a soda or anything? You want a Keep Tracy in prayer. She's in the hospital. Huh? Tracy's in the hospital. Our dog bit her when she tried to come. That's your wife? Yeah. Oh, no. So it may be tenement kind of thing, so keep her in prayer. Well, I just got my food stamp card just came on, and it was right for a change, so I was going to buy some pizza and some couple of sandwiches. I'll oh, get you guys something. Oh, you we're like all set. Thank you very much. Yes. No, we're all set. We Are got you water. Sure? Yep, we're all set. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for offering, though. I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. She just gets injections and then goes home, right? Right now, they're, they're, they're giving her uh, antibiotics to see. Hopefully, prayerfully, it's not in the lig ligaments or something. Ew, Lord. If it is, I have the surgery. Serious. So we're praying no surgery. Yes. Yes. And we received it. Amen. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? You know, it's so exciting to preach and teach about Jesus. I got some good ones. But, uh, Jesus. I like it when you come down here and tell that. They'll write it down. Because um, I had a couple things that would inspire you. Amen. I'm telling you, because it's you hear someone talking about someone, it's something or whatever, and you know the right that Bible thing to say, and everybody just feels it, you know? Yep. Amen. That's what we were doing. That's cool. <laughs> it's to the glory of God, Jesus Christ. You know, if you were to look at the statue of Esther, you wouldn't dare show that to your children. Easter has nothing to do with Christianity. Catholic Church has nothing to do with Christianity. I'm a Baptist, buddy. Baptists can't get into heaven. Presbyterians can't get into heaven. Only by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ can you be saved. Only upon the merit of Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The angels proclaim, He is not here, He is risen. How's your popes doing? How's your pastors doing? How's your rabbis doing? Are they still in the ground? How about all your gods? I got one more and we came in, honey. Thank you. You put the Easter bunny in the ground, he'll stay in the ground. They put Jesus Christ in the ground. Up from the grave he arose. Victorious. Conquered sin and death. Oh, death, where's your sting? And you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you're to die, the Bible says, to be present with the Lord. But to die without the Lord. He died and they buried him. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. 
Listen, this is not well liked. I'm going back to the American history of the Baptist Church, and I, people I know, will know, in glory, have been jailed, have been whipped, have been beaten, have been made bloody, have lost their property for the same words I'm preaching today. The same words. Jesus saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. 1700s, 1800s. Has the word of God been persecuted? All they that live godly shall suffer persecution. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe. Not, rece not receive as a cookie. But receive by faith in your heart. The finished work of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know, Jesus Christ is a wonderful blesser. Look at all the wonderful fruits and vegetables he's given us. Look at the money he's giving you to buy his fruits and vegetables. And all he's doing is asking you to believe on the finished work of his son. It's that simple. A little child could receive Christ as their savior. Is that I have sinned against God Almighty. And I will be held accountable for my sins. Unless something gets done. And the something cannot be anything that you can do. You cannot do anything for your sins. Your sins will give you death. And they will give you hell. Jesus Christ will give you life. He'll give you eternal life. He'll give you great wealth in the glory of heaven if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. The finished work is on Jesus Christ. Again, Baptists don't go to heaven. Catholics don't go to heaven. Good people don't go to heaven. You have a wonderful Easter. You too now. Entrance into heaven is by what Jesus Christ has done. And what he has done is that he has suffered and died for you. He provides the finished work. The world of sin would have you think that an Easter bunny is going to get you to heaven. Absolutely hogwash. Do you realize what you're doing when you have Easter hunts at churches? You are sending your children out to search for an egg as a sperm does. That's sex worship. That's not in the Bible. That's in Roman mythology. That's in Greek mythology. That's in Babylonian myth mythology. That's in Egyptian mythology. But it's never in the Bible. In the Bible is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. How's that? That's it. Everything else is hell. Everything else is hell. Jesus Christ is the blessed and better hope. Jesus Christ is the righteous. Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. 
You got to admit that you are the sinner and repent of your sins and all have sinned. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die one day. And the Bible says that there is an afterlife. Is there an afterlife after death? Yes, there is. It's heaven by Jesus Christ and hell by anything or nothing. You don't have to do nothing to go to hell. The Bible says in John chapter 3, you're already condemned. You're already there. And to get out of hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow those who put their faith on Jesus. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. How are you doing your religion? Your religion gives you, I think so, I hope so, pray so. But the Bible gives you exact security that upon Jesus Christ you are able to know, you will know, that Jesus Christ is able to get you to heaven. There is three candy corn guys at my last three candy corn at the last month. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Pack it up. They're not playing. Not preach during the music performance. Get it? But I, hear, I think I hear music. I mean, he's got a radio going. Some kind of music we can't do. These you put on YouTube. Okay. Pause it. 